Hello and welcome to this presentation highlighting just some of the great features of Synlab for VersaWorks. This product boasts a wealth of design and editing tools that have been developed specifically for the modern sign maker. But what's more, when you're done designing, you can simply output directly to VersaWorks for production. There's no saving or exporting, just a seamless workflow from design to output that includes all of your cut data. With all of the combined vector and bitmap editing design tools included in SignLab for VersaWorks, you can create stunning signage that combines all of your design elements in one package. SignLab eliminates the need to jump back and forth from vector and bitmap desktop design applications and provides you with all the tools you need in one complete package. I'm going to start by typing out the name for the new business. I can see my text appear on screen as I'm typing it and I have access here to over 1300 different typefaces that are supplied with this package. So I have the basic name, now how about adding an outline? Now like many of the tools in SignLab I can enter specific values in the smart bar at the top of the screen here or I can be creative and use the on screen handles to get an effect that looks good. Ok so I'm just going to adjust this slightly and that should do fine. So now we have our text on screen with an outline, pretty simple. Now suppose I've changed my mind and I want to use a different typeface instead of this one that I originally chose. I can do this by simply double clicking on the text to enter the text edit mode, highlight my text and then choose a replacement font from my list. Now I've changed my font, so what about that outline we added? Well, the instant replay module in SignLab for VersaWorks ensures that when I change a type style, the effects around it are automatically updated, saving me the time of having to apply my outline again. Because the text stays as editable text, it's simple to go back at any stage and make changes. So here I'm going to add a slant using the numeric control boxes in the smart bar at the top of the screen. Synab has many text tools that are great for editing and the on-screen kerning is no exception to this. Synab's on-screen kerning applies a handle to each character, making it so simple to space and move either the whole word or individual letters until the layout looks good. When I click away from my text, the instant replay module kicks in and ensures that that outline is again updated to match the changes I have made. Ok, so I'm going to add a slight angle to these objects and that looks pretty good. Now applying colours in this product couldn't be simpler. With an object selected I can simply choose from my colour palette down the bottom here. The Roland VersaWorks palette is loaded by default with this product and you can see if I double click on any one of my colours from the palette down the bottom here it gives me those exact codes and colour names. Ok so let's grab the newly coloured text and add one of our fantastic plugin features. Now SignLab for VersaWorks is packed full of great design plugins. I'm going to use the built in eye candy bevel boss tool to add some real depth to this lettering. In this simple interface I can control all of the parameters of the effect and what's more we're adding this bevel directly to a vectored object without the need to render it to a bitmap first. You can see on the left here there's various property sliders that let me achieve exactly the kind of look I'm after and I can also edit other properties such as the light source and direction. Ok that looks pretty good so I'm going to click on OK now and the effect will be applied and the image will be dropped back into SignLab. Ok so back in SignLab we can take a closer look at the newly added effect. Now because I added a bitmap fill as I zoom in very close you'll start to see pixelation within the image. This is normal with any bitmap. But let's take a closer look towards the edges. Now because we understand large format output, what we do is add an automatic clipping path to the edge of the effect and this means that no matter how big these graphics are produced, the edges will stay sharp and crisp. Ok so I just want to fatten this text up a little here so what I'm going to do is change my original outline colour and then I'm going to add another outline around the outside of that and we'll choose a different colour here, let's go for black. Ok that looks pretty good. So my text is all sorted, let's look at adding some more elements to the sign. Now as I mentioned at the start, SignLab is also great when working with bitmap images. I'm going to start by importing a photograph into SignLab that's been supplied to me by the customer. Ok so we've got it on screen here, looks pretty good but if I zoom in you can see the image is not of the greatest quality. 
especially if we want to reproduce this image at a much larger size. Now Synlab for VersaWorks has a great image resampling tool called Supersize and I'm going to use this now to improve the quality of this photo. With it selected I can launch this feature from the image menu. Now if you look to the smart bar at the top of the screen it will display the properties of the photo and I can choose to increase this in one of three ways. In this example I'm simply going to increase the overall percentage to 300%. Now when I click apply the image is automatically placed in the supersize dialog window and from here I can adjust the properties to increase the quality of the image. Now once I'm happy with my settings I can click here and the resampled image will be returned to Synlab. The supersize function is a free module with Synlab for VersaWorks which is a great bonus when you consider a good standalone image resampling software package can be a sizable outlay just on its own. Okay, so the sign is really starting to take shape now. I'm going to add a circle to use as a clipping path on the photograph we just resampled. Now here's a really simple tip for you. To use this shape as a clipping path, I'm first going to place it on top of the image. Now pressing the Alt and S key together will turn the fill off and allow me to view the image beneath the circle that we just created. So what I can do is move that circle so that it sits in the desired position over my photo. Now I'm going to press the Alt and S key again to turn the fill back on and then I'm going to select both objects and select the Alt and the C key together. And there you go, the photo is instantly clipped to the circle. Now because the circle is a vectored path, I can still use it to add more features such as outlines. So let's do that now so that we get a similar effect to our text. Okay, so I'm going to add a first outline and I'm going to color that white and then a second outline and black. Okay, there's not too much left to do. I need to add some more text in here. So I'm going to return to my text tools here on the left and then I'm going to type what I need on the screen and I'm going to select a different typeface for this lettering just select the font I need from my drop down list okay double click to in place that and there you go now I want this text to wrap around my clipped photograph so it follows the curve of the circle this is a real simple task using the fit text to path tool so with the text and the circle selected I'm going to go to the transform menu and select this feature now we have many options here so that we can make the text wrap left to right upside down inside out and so on but all I'm simply going to do here is select the pick tool and click on the screen where I want the text to start then I'm going to hit apply and there you go the text instantly wraps around my circle okay so to finish off this design I'm going to use another of the great built-in plugins called shadow lab and this will enable me to create a soft shadow that blends out from my objects again this is achieved using a simple plugin interface to control the effects and even the direction of the shadow the preview lets me see exactly what's going on and when I'm done I just click once to return to Synlab now before I send the job onto VersaWorks I'm going to add a contour cut path around all of my objects. So with all selected I'm going to go to the cut menu and select contour cut. I've put in place an offset of 30 here to create a contour path that follows the outside of my objects and creates a complete decal. I don't need any specific colours for my contour cut path so now I'm simply going to hit apply and then adjust my filter settings so that the white boundaries of my image are easily detected. And there you go, a neat contour path that fits my design perfectly, something that's not so easily achieved in desktop publishing packages. So now with all my objects selected I need only select print and then choose which queue to send my job to. If we look in VersaWorks now you can see my job has arrived in QB and if I double click on it you can see it in its entirety including the contour cut path we just created. It's really that simple. Synlab for VersaWorks is the real professional choice for sign makers who want to eliminate complex workflows from their everyday tasks. Talk to Cadlink or your Synlab dealer for more details.